Traveling doesn't have to be one of those activities where you put on a lot of weight after you come back from it. It can actually be that environment you need to be able to get in the zone and achieve those health goals that you have been neglecting for so long. So there's one destination that I want to show you today, which will make you reconsider your next travel plans and convince you that this is in fact very true. Most of us associate Thailand with its stunning clear blue skies, coconut trees, phenomenal natural beauty and its famous Thai food. But not a lot of people know that it's also home to one of the world's best fitness streets. Many tourists who come to Thailand do the usual touristy stuff and don't even know that a health strip exists just 20 minutes drive away from the main town of Phuket. This street over here serves and delivers only health. It's not like any other health retreat in the world where you spend on an overpriced camp in the middle of snow-covered mountains or like an expensive weight loss center that actually feels like jail. This place is different. I'll say it's more like a fitness village, surrounded by nature, giving all health-related services to the people who have decided to stay here. It's a community of people who have come on their own will to work on themselves and achieve their fitness goals. Like me, anywhere I walk in the street, my eyes always find something related to health and body fitness. Called Soi Thai Yed, in Thai language, known as the fitness street among foreigners, this 1.5 km health strip is a much-loved destination among its regulars, as you can see from the amount of people training here, even in off-peak season. People come here from all parts of the world. Some want to build their bodies, other wants to lose weight, while some are here to increase their overall fitness levels, and rest who just want to detox. There are so many fun and different ways you can achieve that, because this fitness street has more than 30 health camps, gyms, studios, and training areas, so you can't really find an excuse not to work out. The main camps that this street is originally famous for are actually the Thai boxing camps, Tiger Muay Thai and Dragon Muay Thai. Tiger Muay Thai is the first fitness camp that you will come across as you enter this peaceful street, which is full of people doing their runs at any point of the day. It's the world's largest martial arts and Muay Thai training gym. What's amazing is that it's renowned for churning out world-famous boxers all year round. These strong physiques that you see here, marinated in their sweat, aren't just boxers or athletes, but many of them are fitness enthusiasts, gym trainers, celebrities, and mostly regular people like you and me who are looking to get into that fitness zone. This camp has so many kinds of martial arts and boxing classes that I never even heard of. Muay Thai is an old and well-respected Thai combat sport. It's also known as the art of eight limbs that uses fists, elbows, legs and knees and is most well known for its powerful kicks. It began in the 16th century as a martial arts practice for Thai soldiers and eventually it became a sport in which the opponents would fight in front of an audience who went to watch them for entertainment. The trainers here in the camps are very well qualified and are fantastic, training anyone from a beginner to a world-class champion and have a lot of experience under their belt. Big, bigger than your knuckle. Mm -hmm. I was very intimidated every time I would walk into this camp while looking at everyone's chiseled, strong bodies, men and women alike. But you know what? This was also a very good boost for me. And that's one big advantage of this health village, that you get to stay motivated while you're looking at and training among all these amazing, motivated, like-minded people, which automatically makes you want to not get left behind and actually stay healthy. Many people also come to train in Muay Thai just as a fun and interesting way to get a killer cardio or to find a group of people who are motivated and inspired enough to work out with. Now, the other camp called Dragon Muay Thai is one of the original camps, much more smaller than the last one, but in no way lesser in quality training. You can get here any scheduled training session that you want throughout the week to suit anyone from a beginner level to a professional who are actually learning to learn Muay Thai. And if you have come here with a group of friends, then you can also enjoy group classes or you can just stick to learning one-on-one -on -one as you keep on burning those extra pounds. Accommodation around here is also very easy and reasonable. You have the option to stay in the dorms inside one of these camps for as much as $20 per night or you can get a reasonable room in one of the many affordable hotels in the fitness street. Everything is literally just a few minutes of walk from each other, which is great for your steps challenge. Best part are these small, cute, very Instagrammable cafes where you can work from, have a healthy smoothie, have coconut water, or just nice coffee, and just chill and relax after your workout sessions. 
I really enjoyed my makeshift office for the time that I spent here in Soi Tai And honestly, Thai people are so warm and hospitable. Okay, I'll write down Thai number, yeah? Okay. That's one. That's two. One, yeah. And two, yes. What I really enjoyed the most was getting to work out in the natural, fresh sea air of Phuket. The lush greenery that is everywhere is exactly what those screen tired eyes need. And after workouts, make sure you have the chilled Thai coconut water, which is just an absolute health elixir, and your soul will thank you. You can see why a lot of people who come here find it an absolute pure joy and less distraction to actually work on their health goals. This place is why it's such that it feels naturally easier here to get attuned to our body's natural circadian rhythm. The benefits don't just end here. If you don't see yourself in a boxing match, then maybe you can spoil yourself with countless other training options that are offered on this health strip. From personal training sessions, CrossFit classes, HIIT training, swimming, yoga, tennis, group fitness classes, and a lot more is offered in these camps which are spread across the length of the street. From anyone who just wants to work on their strength and focus on weight training to someone who wants to work on their flexibility, there is something for everyone. There's hot yoga and ice baths. You name any fitness service you can think of and it's all here. Hi, Kisla. I will never forget my first experience of hot yoga here. I had heard about it before, but I never really got the opportunity to explore it. So this time, when I saw the boat hot yoga, I went straight in. And then I realized what it was. It's basically a yoga place where they don't have any air conditioner and any fan. And you just basically do your yoga asanas in a still air. And that really makes you sweat a lot. Yoga on beach was an activity which is organized by the camp once every week. It was more my cup of tea. Okay, so a correction here. It was actually a boot camp on the beach, not a yoga camp on the beach, which I had no idea about. So I woke up early in the morning to stretch muscles of my body that I didn't even know I had because I thought I was going for a yoga class. Anyways, we go into this beautiful beach in Phuket with everyone around me who's as motivated as anyone can be on an early Thursday morning, doing all sorts of squats, workout in the sand. Yeah. Run. Run. And we were just so tired at the end of it. But it was honestly one of the most fun activity I've ever done in the name of a workout. So if you don't like working out alone, this is actually one of the best activities that you can join in the fitness street to start your day with. And if you love running, then you can join the weekly Big Buddha Run, where you get to complete a jog in the morning from your camp to the top of the hill, where lies the Big Buddha statue of Phuket with a group of friends. So Itaiyate does not disappoint you on the list of physical activities it offers and it definitely doesn't let us down on the unbelievably delicious and healthy food it serves in all of its healthy outlets. Any restaurant you go to, you will see that 90% of the menu is kept in mind keeping the nutritional needs of the people training every day in the health strip. I have to emphasize something here. I have a very sensitive stomach and most of the times that I eat outside, I tend to get stomach problems. But in this instance, I have been eating three times a day for the last two months and not once I have had stomach problems. So that goes to show you how clean and healthy this place is. As you walk in the street, every 200 meters, you will also come across these very cute bamboo shacks that offer protein shakes of all sorts of flavors and rich combinations, along with the freshly pressed juices and healthy, gorgeous smoothies. Seriously. This fitness street is like the Disneyland for the health conscious. I have never seen this much variety of healthy yet tasty food options. All kind of health food and supplements that you can think of are available here. It's really a very fun way to eat your way to health without ever getting bored. And if a healthy holiday does exist, then Soi Kai Yed or the fitness street it is. Come sun or rain, Fitness Street is busy throughout the year. It's also quite safe. A lot of women come to train here and I myself have been coming here for about four years now and I have never felt unsafe at any point of the day. Some classes even go on until 8 p.m. at night so you get a lot of flexibility to choose your timings from. And when you're exhausted at the end of the day from completing all of your activity rings on your watch, you can just slip into one of the many clean Thai massage parlors 
that offer the best of relaxing massages that a tired, overworked muscle needs. It's a complete haven of self-care. At the end of each month, everyone gets to celebrate their progress with a massive get-together, a boxing match, and a barbecue party in the camp. And because this time it was Halloween, it was double the celebration. Whoever came up with this fitness treat in Phuket surely knew what it took to build and live in a healthy and wholesome body. And if it's going to take a village to get back to your healthy self, then this is the village I recommend. So, are you convinced yet? Thank you.